and I think I just shot my chronographer. <laughs> In order to avoid this nightmare with your 350 legend, air die, and they suggest that you drop it two and a half rotations out after you've got it bottomed out. But what I've discovered is you really got to do it about two and a quarter. And that's what those line indicators are there. This is the external side, but you'll see what I'm talking about. It's measuring at 0.373 on the outside of the case. I'm going to run it through the die. And now you can see it is 3.82. Final part, go ahead and load up your charge. And I've got 27 point grains of wind 296 on here. And as you can see, that bullet is just starting to seat in there. And that's what expanding that case will do. And you want to back this all the way out as far as it can go. We'll just get it started. Hard to do one handed. And then here, go ahead and pull your ram down. Turn this all the way in. And I've already got it marked and indicated because I've done this. I've had to mess up a lot of cases to do this. Get that to where that is touching, right there. And then start spinning this down. There it's touching. You could actually push it into that case a little bit. And that's probably gonna measure long right there, probably about 2.1 something. Let me look real quick, 2.123. And then you keep spinning this down until you get it at the depth you want. And mine's going to be right about there. And I'm looking for 2.050. And it is very top heavy. And there you go. Legend time. Today will be my first load development test for the 350 Legend here. Uh, I'm going to be testing the 125 grain jacket hollow point from Sierra. I'm going to be using um, Win 296 powder. I'm going to start off with 25.9 grains and use four grain increments. And what I really want to see, um, now the barrel manufacturer says to use between 140 and 170 grain bullets, but I really want to see if these 125 grains work because um, Hammer Bullets actually has a 125 grain bullet uh, for this barrel. I'm going to start off at the center target using uh, 147 grain, and this is the Winchester full metal jacket. Yeah. And so we'll see how these go. And then if it's close to zero, which it should be because I've sighted in for the 150 grain uh, Winchester ammo, um, we will start testing the ammo. First two shots is really just to test the chronographer. And I think I just shot my chronographer. <laughs> I forgot I've got a linear compensator on, so I'm sure the muzzle blast just absolutely destroyed that. And I just stepped on poison ivy. I need to back this off some. <laughs> All right, let's try this again. And it looks like that bullet's going really far to the left. Don't shoot the chronographer. Twenty-one seventy-three. It is going left. Oh. First fail to feed. Twenty-one seventy-eight. So it is shooting far off to the left. That was the first shot aiming there. I put that left hash there, aim, and I got a double. Look how bad I'm sweating. It's literally 113 degrees here in the shade. <laughs> it's a good time to do a test load to see if you're loading too hot. First batch is 25.9 grains. 23, 21.71. I don't know. Ooh, it does not like that one. All right, we're gonna drop that. Let's go to the next load. Twenty-two 
2274 and it did not cycle on the third one pushed it in all right we'll go to the third set i think i see the problem already i'm fairly certain this is the issue look at the way that's loaded in that magazine and i don't know if you could see that all the way down at the bottom but those um on the lower end are the winchester full metal jackets look how much farther those are sticking out so i'm going to forward drop my magazine this way so you get it to feed properly this bullet simply may not work that's why you try things like this load development three this is 26.7 grains Twenty-two eighty-one. Twenty-three sixty-four. That was off to the right. I pulled it. Twenty-two thirty-eight, and that did not cycle. All right, I'm only get two shots on D. Twenty-four twelve. didn't cycle uh, 23.58 I'm really liking this low development it was probably the worst when it came to velocity spread but that group is incredible and at the distances that I'm gonna be hunting that's gonna be a lot better than this and this was actually the best velocity there's only one FPS difference but look at that jump there this was the hottest load and that's just not acceptable. So we'll go with group three. And this was able to cycle all that ammo there. And I think what I'm gonna have to do is stick to uh, the five round magazine. I built this AR pistol with the intentions of hunting under 80 yards, but with this custom load, I'm still getting close to 2000 feet per second, delivering just over a thousand foot pounds of energy. Stay tuned for my next hunting adventure.